Hi everybody, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. So this video, we're going to show some makeup products I received from a friend, but I want to tell you a little bit about this friend. She works for a company that QCs certain products for various makeup companies and food manufacturers. She does mostly certain drugstore brands, a couple higher end brands, and then she also does a lot of food brands. So and she, they even do like store brand products. Like they do a lot of Dollar Tree products, like the Greenbrier products. They QC them. So, uh, for, but it's not like first run, run products. Like let's say Maybelline has a, their lipstick that they have had all the time. They wouldn't necessarily QC that if that they came out with more colors or something, but if they came come out with a specialized lipstick product, like they're like, oh, this lip product will do this and it has certain claims on it, they won't QC it to make sure it fulfills those claims because none of them really ever do. But what they do is they look at the ingredient list um, they research to make sure everything is safe. They make sure it's labeled properly and they see all the information before it's published, before it's released, before it's advertised, and they get a lot of product. So she gets a lot of overflow product. Now, she has to keep all those products there at the company, even the unopened ones until the product is released in the stores. And then they're allowed to keep the products. They can you know, keep them for themselves. But lucky for me, she gives a lot of it to me. I get a lot from her. Like, um, well, I mean, I'm gonna give you an example right now because she gave me a lot of stuff here. And it is the Hard Candy Girl Scout cookie line. Now it is not every single item in the line, but she gave me a a good bit of stuff she's so I've got three makeup palettes here I've got the Girl Scout buttery bestie shadow palette right here looks like very neutral colors and then the hard candy Girl Scout caramel queen shadow palette it looks like the Samoa cookie right there it looks like this might be the classic Girl Scout cookie the tre trefoil and that looks like the Samoa, but I don't think they're called Samoas anymore. I think, think they're caramel coconut or something. And, or maybe they're a separate cookie. And then of course the Thin Mints. This is the Girl Scout Mint Explorer Shadow Palette. Just looking at them, looks like this is gonna be my favorite as far as color choices go, but we'll open them and take a good look at them. And then she also gave me this headband Look at it, it's got the three cookies. This is so adorable. But It's so funny because the other, other day I went to the store to buy one of these and this is like the third one I've gotten since I, since I did that. But yeah, it's got the three cookies on it. Now she said they also have another one that, is like a mint leaf or something. She said she wasn't sure what it was, but it looked like some type of leaf. And then what else do we have? She gave me some rando products that aren't hard candy. And then she gave me the hard candy Girl Scout Be Bold Do More Face Puffs right here. Oh, you know what? I bet she meant that. I bet that's what was on the headband, the little Girl Scout symbol. But that's two two of these come in a pack. Now, I do not know the retail prices of these items, but I do know that they are available at Walmart. And then she also gave me the press-on nails, which she said like the headband, the sponges, and like the press-on nails. No, no, they do, they do QC press-on nails because She's actually, she gave me these. She's tried a whole bunch of different press on nails and artificial nails that she's, I have a whole drawer full of them. But anyway, we've got these in, in green, red, 
and blue, like a navy blue. So she gave me those. And then we got a couple more products. She hooked me up. This is the Luminous Highlighter for Coconut, Coconut Caramel, right here. The Trefoils Velvety Smooth Lip Color, right here. And then also the Coconut Caramel Velvety Smooth Lip Color. So two lip colors. There wasn't a mint one. I didn't see a mint one. But she also sent these. She said if these haven't been released in the store yet, they should be released soon because she was cleared to get rid of these products. Because they just she, she just says, they say, okay, you can get rid of these products. You can get rid of these products. And I want to go to her office. I've never actually been to her office. I just wonder what it looks like. But so we've got the By Nature Vitamin E Wild Berry Lip Balm and the Be Fresh Hydrating Lip Serum. So yeah. But anyway, that's, she's where I get a, 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 not all of my free makeup I've gotten a hold of, but a lot of it. But let's do this. We're gonna swatch these. Let's open them up. Oh no. So when I started opening it up, it just lifts the paper off of the thing, off of the palette. It is just a cardboard palette. So we'll just tuck that. And okay, so it's taped up good. So there it is, pretty flimsy palette. But this smells like Girl Scout cookies. It smells like a thin mint cookie. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna swatch these for you. So there's 10 shades. I don't know how to swatch these, three palettes and two arms, but we'll just, okay. So I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna go around the circle this way. So this looks like a lovely little highlighting color. Hard Candy does a pretty nice, a pretty nice, um, eyeshadow. Okay, then we're going to go to this one. It's a looks like it's a matte brown, very close to my skin tone. Very nice, not chunky at all. And this next one is another frost. Looks like we've got a couple frosts in here. Looks like that would also be a good highlighter color. That's nice. Look, that's a nice shift. You go, Girl Scouts. And this is another frost. And, oh, look at this one. I might have to take that back. I like these colors a lot. So this is a brown frost, like a bronzy number. And I've got a little wet wipe down here that I'm cleaning my fingers on then I dry it on a paper towel. That's just a little behind the scenes thing. <laughs> and then we've got this flat brown, like a chocolatey color. And then we've got another frost. I am happy with the way these swatched. And then in the middle, right here, this looks like, and I just put that right there. Very nice. So they swatch on a unprimed surface very nicely. Um, they're not clumpy. Nice color payoff. But I got to give it to Hard Candy. They do a good... They do a good eyeshadow because I did the Marilyn Monroe ones. And do I have that nearby? But the Marilyn Monroe palette was really nice. So, um, the makeup removers I'm using are these I got from Ross. <laughs> They're Meissler Water. Um, I don't even know the brand, but they do remove makeup nicely. Okay, so while that arm dries, we'll swatch on this arm 
and we're gonna do the these look like this looks like it's gonna be a lot of light colors the buttery bestie smells it's buttery it smells like a buttery cookie okay so like with this I'm gonna start here look at that blue save that for the end well we'll do this middle one last but we're gonna start here and go all the way around so this first one is a frost looks like a nice gold color a little hard on that one let me switch this over to the side that's nice and then this is just a nice little blonde got another frost here right there these shades aren't showing up too well on my skin, but this frost I'm about to show you is beautiful. Look at that. I think I dug in it a little too hard. Look at that. It's a little blotchy, but I think that's just the way I swatched it. I don't think that's product, a product issue. Then we've got this frost. And another frost, darker color. Oh, these are nice. I still, I think I like the, the um, Thin Mint palette better, but these are nice. And this is a navy blue. Nice. I've never owned a really nice navy blue eyeshadow before. And this one. And now this one is so. Did I try? I feel like I didn't swatch this green. I'm going to swatch, but look at that. Look at how magical that is. And it's just the glitter, so it's going to be clumpy. But. I'm a fan of those. I like those. I think I like the Thin Mint one better. But I want to do something because I don't think... I don't think I swatched this green. That green. So it's going to be a little clump. It's not even clumpy. <gasps> Ooh, okay. I like this Thin Mint <laughs> palette. I'm not one to wear glitter. But that's a nice palette. Okay. So now we're gonna try these out. And I'm sorry, this video is running long. Okay, these are really beautiful. So again, we'll do clockwise. We'll start with that. That would be a nice highlighter. There's a, uh, I don't know if I love that one. They also, I want to say they feel really buttery. It's a purple. Here's a different shade of purple, a more earthy purple, I would say. Now, the glitter. The glitter is very creamy. 
because they're not quite intended to be applied the same way as eyeshadow. And then the highlighter in the middle, which I would definitely use this for a bronze and highlighter right there. So yeah, these are nice. I thought that the purple one was gonna be my favorite and I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all, but I think the cinnamon one is the one I like. And I think that's the one I'm gonna do the look for. And we're not going to swatch everything else, but we will incorporate them in. We're going to do the makeup look. And I'm just for fun. I would normally just put this on when I'm washing my face. But just to be fun and to be in the spirit of the Girl Scouts. I was never a Girl Scout. My mom wouldn't let me. She had some pretty twisted ideas about femininity and I don't know. She is weird. She is a weird lady. So I think we're going to do the thin mint. Thin one. Oh, she gets a lot of makeup brushes too. Um, that they just come with the makeup. She doesn't really test them. Okay, I need. I need. Okay, here's a lovely one. So I think, oh no, I think we're gonna do, we're gonna do the Thin Mint one, so. I think we're gonna start with a little, little brown all over. It's very close to my skin tone. Then, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of this darker color that looks like a, a swampy green, brown deal. Now I'm gonna go in with this kind of highlighty green. Okay. Now, I am not one to wear glitter, but since it's here, we're gonna do a little bit.
Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and use some of this brown to fill in my brow. And then I'm also going to use this darker color. That's a bit of an eyeliner. Okay. Okay. Now, Let's open up here. What do we have? We got highlighter. Let's look at the highlighter. So we'll do a little here, 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 here. Oh my God. It smells like a coconut caramel cookie. <laughs> And this is great because I'm supporting Girl Scout. Well, I'm not supporting them because I didn't buy any of these products. But I'm bringing awareness to the product um, because I don't buy Girl Scout cookies because uh, I can't eat them. So why buy them? Okay, a little highlighter. Let's do just a tad bit under here just to see what happens. Okay. Um, I like that. I, I don't know if I like that kind of applicator, but you know, they can't all be winners. So we're going to look at both of the lip colors. So we've got this, this is the coconut one right here. I like it. I don't usually like browns for lip color, but I like it. It is creamy, it's not a matte. And then this is the, this is the trefoil one. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. That's another brown, which is fine. And we will, we're just going to finish off with a little of my blush stick. Okay. I think that I, I like it. I do like it, but I think that it would work better if I did the full, full face of, um, foundation, you know, primer, all that. But I want to try something with the slip color. Okay. I just want to try something with it. So we got a highlighter, right? Okay. 
but we didn't get like a contour or a bronzer. And I'm wondering I probably went a little too too heavy on the nose. I can mitigate that easily though. Yes, I think that you can use those lip colors. Like I look a mess now, but I think you can use those lip colors for um, sculpting or contouring and even a blush or bronzer. Now let's look at the nails. We'll open one of the nails. Uh, we'll open the green one. No, let's, yeah, well, no, we're going to open the red one because it looks like there's stickers with it and it looks like they're all the same and it looks like they're going to pop better with the red ones. So I'm probably not going to put them on, but I just want to open them. So it comes with press on tabs, a little nail file, a little cuticle stick but it also comes with glue if you want to glue them on. And then, hello, hello. I'm wearing a red dress. So there they are, they're red. I wanna get to these nail stickers. Here. Oh my gosh. So here are the nail stickers and some extra nails. This little cute little nail stickers. Um, you get a sheet of those. Okay, so we can put it all back together. You know what? I'll put the nails on and show you. How about that? Since I'm wearing a red dress, let's do it. Okay. Um, here they are. Uh, I know you can see my natural nail under them. Uh, ease of application, 10. Um, color, 10. Nail style, I don't, I like a squared nail, so I don't love them. Um, but I'm not gonna judge that. Uh, the shape is nice for someone who likes that shape of a nail. My problem is they just, like these right here, the um, impress nails, they always look so real, like, like your actual nail. And these look like a kid's product. And granted, I guess they are targeted towards children uh, or, you know, younger teens. Uh, in, in which case, I would say they're fine uh, lengthwise. Oh, length, I'm going to give them a 10 because they're great for using it. The strength seems pretty nice. I typed a little bit just to see how it works. So the strength is nice. I only used the, the press-on tabs. I will not use the glue on my nails ever again. I, I hate it. I always end up getting some on my skin. Then the hands look like crap anyway. So, but... I don't, they're not for me. They're not for me. Uh, they definitely are tough. Um, and I don't love the shape. But now my friend, her complaints with them was that you don't get enough sticky tabs with them. But I will say I bought a ton, like I think a thousand sticky tabs off of Amazon that work great. Not quite as strong as the ones that come with this. These seem pretty strong. Um, but she said the same thing I said. She did like the length. I do love the color with this dress. So cute. But, uh, I wouldn't get these for me. 
but I can definitely see why a child would like them or like a young teen. So I think what we're gonna do is, uh, maybe I'll throw together a little get giveaway. Uh, maybe someone who wants the blue ones or the green ones, but I'm gonna figure out what to do because I'm actually planning a giveaway now that I hit 5,000 subscribers. Like when I had like 200 subscribers, I said, when I get 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to have a giveaway. And that's what I'm going to do. And I am gathering items for the giveaway. So, and this is going to be fun, but, uh, because, and I'm going to make an official announcement for every 100 new subscribers I get until the end of the giveaway, once it starts, I will add a new product to the giveaway collection. Now guys, I'm sorry, it's probably gonna be more aimed towards women, but that doesn't mean men can't enter. You know, everybody has girlfriend, sister, mother, whatever. You know, so, but I'll announce that. Once I get some things to put together, I wanna like put a little kit together for a giveaway. So once I do that, we, we will, get into that. I'm going to leave these on just because I don't want to deal with taking them off right now, but uh, ease of application was really great for these. I guess they're not that bad. I just don't love that nail shape. I love the length. The length is perfect. Um, and they do hold really nicely. You know, maybe it's just the color that to me makes it look more toyish, but they're not too bad. They're not too bad. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go. I know this video ran a little long, but um, I will talk to everyone later. Bye. Also, I'm not really sure about how to apply these. I thought there would be like a film that I peel off and like rub them on, but that doesn't seem to be the case. But there are instructions. Maybe I just give them a read.